convenience stores started in 1927 and convenience then was they were open past five o'clock. They were open past the hours of a traditional grocery store. Somewhere in the 60s, it became 24-hour operations and increasingly convenience continues to evolve. Really, today, it's about time. Can you get something? Can you get multiple things? Can you get them fast? And how does that compare to the internet? Because right now, the internet, to a certain extent, is the benchmark against what everybody else has measured. Convenience stores have about 160 million transactions a day. If each transaction can be speeded by one second, that's five years in time savings every single day. And that's compounded. If you're standing in a line and there's three people in front of you and each one is saving a second, then you got three seconds back. So there, there's a value in explaining how you're giving somebody back time. I think ultimately the fate of the penny will be determined by convenience. It, it, it's quite simply time is money. And if people want the time instead of the penny, that will guide the decision. It won't be memories, it won't be coin collectors, it won't be the cost of the coin itself. The value of convenience will determine if the penny stays or the penny goes. We just did a consumer study looking at what are some of the future technologies that consumers are most looking forward to. We asked about drones, we asked about food trucks, we asked about all sort of elements. The one that rated highest, and of course always rates even higher with millennials, is the idea of self-checkout, the idea of just using your cell phone and buzzing right on through the store without dealing with anyone. That tested the highest, that doesn't involve coins.